Hi everybody, it's Miss T from the Children's Library of the Plainfield Public Library. Thank you for stopping in for another story time. Today's book is called The Star People, a Lakota Story by S.D. Nelson. <clears throat> Young Wolf and I have wandered far across the prairie. Older sister, I wanted to show him the wonders of our world. Look up, brother. Do you see how Father's son travels high in the sky today and see beneath our feet? Mother Earth is alive with growing things. My little brother looked for a long moment, then said, Sister girl, I cannot see our village anymore. Let's stay just for a little while longer, young wolf, I said. Then we will go back. We sat in the dry, sweet-smelling grass, watching the clouds drift overhead. A young wolf pointed and said, Sister girl, that cloud looked just like a buffalo's head. We both laughed with amazement. There's an eagle, I cried. And horses, said young wolf. The cloud spirits are playing above us, I told my brother. Sometimes they take the shapes of animals or people. The clouds are alive, and we call them the cloud people. As the cloud people changed their shapes, the face of a woman emerged. Look, my brother gasped. Grandmother, elk tooth woman had died that spring, and we missed her very much. As I looked, I realized the clouds had turned dark in the distance. Lightning struck the dark, the dry earth. The day is coming to an end, I told young wolf. Mother and father will be expecting us. Overhead, birds cried, robins, Rabbits, deer, and other animals bounded past, their eyes wide with fear. Something was terribly wrong. I smell smoke, said young wolf. A prairie fire. We joined the fleeing creatures and ran for our lives. Mother! Father, we cried, but our voices could not be heard above the roaring fire, and we had wandered so far from our village. The flames were catching up to us. The smoke made it impossible to see. I stumbled down a hill, and Young Wolf fell behind me. Rolling down the hill, I despaired. We would never see our home again, or our mother and father. In the next moment, we were in water. Water! In the blinding smoke, we had fallen into a stream. Come on, I cried to young wolf as I pulled him deeper. We clutched each other and hunched down. Only our heads poked up above the water. The fire leaped from bank to bank. Angry flames flew just over our heads. Sparks and ash fell on us but we were not harmed. Then the fire passed us, flashing to nothing in the distance. Look, brother, I said to young wolf, who was softly crying. We are safe. Be glad. The fire did not catch us. I coaxed them out of the water and up the bank. A strange blackened land stretched before us. I knew that I had made a mistake.
by wandering so far from home. Now I had no idea how to find our village, and the dark of night was near. I tried not to cry, but tears came to my eyes as I comforted my brother. Sister girl, young wolf said, sister girl, the stars are dancing. I looked up. High above us, the stars were becoming shapes, as the clouds had done that afternoon. First, there was a coyote, then a bear, a hawk, and many other creatures, both animal and human. Chanting, the star people en encircled us. They are the spirits of the old ones who once walked this earth. I told my brother. Young Wolf was first to see Elktooth's woman dancing among them. It's my grandma, he cried. You are safe now, my young wolf, she said, and she whispered, holding out both her arms. I am here, my sister girl. I was delighted to see our grandmother. Young Wolf was happy, but confused. He said, Grandma, I thought I would never see you again. Smiling, she drew us close to her, tenderly, tenderly, rocking back and forth. Beneath a heaven full of stars, we fell into a deep sleep. Young Wolf and I dreamed of green prairies and our village. In our dream, we could see our mother and father. Both were searching frantically for us. They feared the fire had taken our lives. We called to them, we are here, we are safe. But they could not hear us. In our dream, raindrops pattered onto the burned ground. Wildflowers grew and crickets chirped. Moths fluttered in the cool moonlight. Creatures crawled from the safety of their burrows. Badger, lizard, turtle, rabbit. The wild ones gathered in a circle. Dancing, they chanted a joyous song. Thank you, raindrops. The fire is gone. Thank you, Sister Moon. The fire is gone. Hey, y'all, hey. Star people above, we are alive. Hey, y'all, hey. In our dream, Grandmother and Young Wolf lifted their feet to the beat of the drum. I joined in their dance. Together, we all gave thanks. In the morning when we awoke, I felt an emptiness in my heart. I missed our parents. Young Wolf felt the emptiness of his stomach. I'm hungry, he said. Elk Tooth Woman laughed. She took, us, she took us to a place where berry bushes had escaped the fire. We ate our fill. Then grandmother said she would take us home. We traveled a long way across the barren land in places where there were flowers and green grass untouched by the fire. That was a sign of hope. Finally, we came to a hilltop. Looking down, Young Wolf howled. There's our village. I turned to Grandmother. Our mother and father will be so happy to see you again. She shook her head. I can go no further. I must return to my home in the sky. Young Wolf clutched Elk Tooth Woman and would not let her go. 
tears streamed down his round cheeks. I pleaded with her to stay. Drawn away from us, grandmother smiled and said, Don't worry, my sister girl, my young wolf. I will always be with you. The star people are always with you. Look up and you will see me among the stars. So Young Wolf and I returned home safely. Our parents wept with joy to see their children, and then they were very angry with us for wandering so far from home. But even after, when my little brother and I walked beneath the star-filled heavens, we felt comfort, for we knew our grandmother and all of the star people were watching over us. And when we get to the last page, we say the end. And that was Star People, a Lakota story, written by S.D. Nelson. Now, I wanted to read that because it is Women's History Month. And because the main character was Sister Girl, I just wanted that to uh, inspire all all of those sisters out there who are, you know, caretakers for their brothers and who look toward their parents for inspiration. And so I just dedicate that to all of the sisters out there, big sisters who babysit, big sisters who help with homework. You're doing an awesome job. And until we read again, I say bye for now.